This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank at home in Iowa at work for you. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. College football season officially kicked off in Madison, Wisconsin against the 12th ranked team in the country. Coach Farley joining us here inside the Dome. And Coach, it's the first game of the year. What did you learn about your team in a hostile environment against the 12th ranked team in the country? Well, I thought we our, our defense stepped up to the challenge, I believe. We, we had questions on defense, so I thought we did, did well there and answered some of those uh, questions. And I thought our offense was, was uh, resilient when we came back and uh, after we were down 19 to nothing and, and started performing to get back in the game. Coach, you graduated pretty much all your defensive linemen and linebackers, and you're going up against arguably the best running back in college football. How did you prepare for that and, and talk about the challenge of trying to stop Monte Ball? Well, we, were, we worked hard at our, our front. I mean, we, the detail, we really put the detail into the work as far as the technique and you weren't going to beat them with personnel as much. You're really going to have to play hard with great effort and great technique and I, th I thought our guys did that. In the first quarter, the Panthers only gave up a field goal. Offense sputtered a little bit for the Panthers, but in the second quarter again, that defense really was on the field a lot. That's tough on a defense to be on the field that much early on. Right, and we knew we were gonna be on the field. I mean, we tried to roll some people because their, their, their uh, style of game is such that, you know, you're gonna be in a lot of third and shorts and they're gonna move the chains and, and get the first downs. And you just had to be resilient and, and persevere that and try to keep them out of the end zone and give up field goals and not touchdowns. Panthers kept Wisconsin out of the end zone until 50 seconds to go before intermission. And then the second half, the Panthers won the second half, outscoring Wisconsin a huge fourth quarter. And you could tell the guys believed that they were going to win that game, that they were in that game, even though they might have been down 19 points, Coach. Well, we really did. We talk it. But at the same time, we, if, if you're from you and I, you believe in, in any stadium you walk into. I'm not so sure that our players really really believed it walking in, but when we walked out, you could tell that they, they, they sensed that, that, that they can line up and play. They just have to make sure they execute and prepare the same way every week. The Panthers started a freshman quarterback, and I, I know I was very impressed. Talk about your evaluation of what you saw in his first college start. I thought a typical first-year quarterback, I mean, he went out there, sputtered a little bit early. Uh, I think that was just when you when you look at from his side the nerves that he would have had in that particular situation, but he really settled down and then in, in crucial situations in the third and the fourth quarter when they're trying to put a lot of pressure on him, he maintained his poise and made some great throws and our receivers made some great catches. One of the reasons why this team is going to be good this year is the offensive line and that receiving core and you could tell that they were given a little extra to help out the young quarterback. Well they were and when you're playing with a young quarterback you need to make plays for him and I thought that our offensive line was making plays at, at, towards the, in, in that third and fourth quarter I thought our receivers and our running backs were. David Johnson he's so versatile uh, what do you like about getting him the ball not necessarily behind the line of scrimmage but throwing him out and, and using him as a receiver? Well he's, he's, a, he's a big back too so he's got good size and he really made a great catch down the sideline because of his size in one particular case to move the chains and then we caught him in a couple uh, uh, zone pressures that uh, he got open and, and then outran him so he's got size and speed. A couple different times in the game the Panthers faced fourth down you decided to go for it, and the Panthers rewarded you by getting that first down, moving the chains. Talk about the confidence you had in your, your team to go for it on fourth down a couple times in that game. Well, we, if, if we went in to win it, and if, if, if you're going in to win it, it wasn't just to play good, we wanted to win the football game, and we had to convert the fourth down to, to get that game going, to get the, get the energy that we needed to sustain the uh, fourth quarter. And uh, I tell you what, it's a great catch by uh, LeMaster, great throw by Cole Morgan, but uh, that, that fourth and four or whatever it was, that really swung the momentum in our direction. Panthers end up losing by just five points. They were marching with about three minutes to go in the game, but did come up short. And coach, this was one of the top stories on the national scene, the fact that the 12th ranked team in the country, Wisconsin, who never loses at home, almost lost to the UNI Panthers. Why is it good to get on TV and, and get that national exposure and let people know about this UNI football program? Well, I think that's what, that's what, uh, that's what it's about. I mean, for, you want a collegiate atmosphere for your students and for your university and your community, but it's also your, uh, your, your brand that's out there. And one guy called me this morning and said that we're on the, in, in the sports page of the New York Times. Wow. So when you get that brand out there, just represent your school, and then everything is always related to your school, and, and, and that's the most important thing. Panthers played in front of the largest crowd ever, almost 80,000 in Camp Randall for a UNI football program to play in front of. 
you have a chance to watch the Panthers right here inside the Dome, 6 p.m. against Central State on Saturday. Why are you excited to have a game here inside the Dome and to get back on the football field, Coach? Well, we need to get back home now, and our, our players need to, to come off that game and get ready for the next one and, and not look past the, the, this one. So that, that'll be big, and that's why we have to get back in here, get a good crowd, get excitement, and focus on this football team. 12th ranked team in the country, it's definitely a good measuring stick, and the Panthers, even though they came up short, uh, definitely gave Wisconsin all they could handle. Coach, I know as an alum, uh, many people are proud of this team and we're excited for this college football season. Best of luck against Central State. Thank you. All right, plenty more Panther sports talk, including a feature on Tyler Sievertson coming up right after this.